Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. Today we're going to take a slight departure from wristwatches and horology and we're going to look at my favourite fragrance. Now of course I'll do a quick wristwatch check before I go into it. Well, I've, I, I'm recording two videos on the same day so if you've watched the previous video it's the same watch. My speedy on the glorious custom made NATO strap from Wrist Candy Watch Club obviously with the line, the crest, my family crest and logo for the show. So wristwatch check done, let's roll the intro and get into this video. You guys have been asking me for the longest time what is my favorite fragrance and to be honest you might not actually be surprised by this it's it's a fairly obvious choice same as uh, Ian Fleming the famous uh, James Bond creator and, and writer of, of the James Bond novels um, so who else could it be well of course it's Floris bit predictable but to be honest I actually like this fragrance from early early childhood my mum used to take me into the florist store uh, I think you know once or twice a year to she would get her fragrances and and I would always get a little sample pack as a kind of little gift for myself and my favorite actually was the particular fragrance we're gonna take a closer look at in just a moment um, so you know that's before I even knew what James Bond or who Winston Churchill was you know so um, it just happens to be their choice as well which I think is so cool Anyway guys, let's switch perspectives now and have a closer look at my favourite fragrance from Floris. Today we're looking at my fragrance of choice, which of course is Floris of London. Now Floris is considered the eldest English retailer of fragrances and toiletries, and is still a family owned business run today in the same location on German Street uh, by the 8th and 9th generation of the family. Floris was started in 1730 by Juan uh, Floris who arrived in England by, uh, from Mallorca. He then secured the premises on German Street which is in the elegant quarter of London's St. James's and initially set up the business as a barber but then and a comb maker but however he soon missed the aromas and ses sensations of his Mediterranean youth and eventually uh, started making perfume. They were first granted a royal warrant in 1820 to King George V soon after his ascension. Uh, today this first royal warrant is on this proud display at number 89 German Street together with no less than 19 other royal warrants which is really quite impressive. Floris uh, holds today two perfumes to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II as well as uh, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Now for me Floris has been the go-to fragrance in my family uh, especially well actually um, Penhaglons has, has also been a favorite more with ladies of my in my family but for the, us the men folk Floris really has been the choice now Floris has also had some very famous clientele um, Florence Nightingale Mary Shelley and of course Ian Fleming himself he said that his character James Bond always wore Floris number 89 which is also happens to be my personal favorite and the one you see here before you and I have the Eau de, de Toilette which actually this is my ongoing Eau de, de Toilette there and it comes in this beautiful box and this one I received for Christmas which is the aftershave and they come in these beautiful blue wrapped with the ribbons and also this I received last year and I still haven't used this is just open it. this is a beautiful beautiful shaving soap bowl uh, and of course you see all the, the Royal Warrant on all of their products so this really is the highest end of perfumeries in the world in my opinion and I just absolutely love all their products so many of their products uh, my, my mother used to use them 
uh, my grandfather. It's just been in the generations for a hell of a long time. <laughs> Every time I go into Floris of London, it, it doesn't remind me of Floris, it reminds me of my family. So that's how, that's that personal collect connection I have to them. Of course, Winston Churchill, as you see here, you're probably wondering why I have a Winston Churchill book in the background. Winston Churchill, his favorite was the number 127, which was quite a punchy perfume and originally mixed for the Russian Grand Duke in 1890. Ian Fleming was more of a fan of the 89, which is a 1951 recipe in the novel Dr. No. James Bond enjoyed a bath freshened by florist lime bath essence, uh, which Floris then also name checked in Diamonds Are Forever and Moonraker. So that's a pretty cool bit of little history there. For me, the, the, the 89 is the absolute, is my personal favorite. And if funny enough, I didn't know about the connection to Bond, uh, but the Bond franchise until quite recently. I, I To be honest, I didn't even was aware that, that there was a connection, but let's discuss the the number 89. Now the number 89 as you see here is a very traditional blend with fresh citrus cologne top notes and a distinctive spicy kind of woody character and in fact as I got all these items <laughs> before me it smells amazing um, especially if I open this one as well uh, and it's a very quintessentially English gentleman's fragrance I mean you just can't get more British than this. The shaving soap bowl, this one is I believe £35. On all of these products you can get on Amazon now I believe. So there, so if you're wherever you are in the world you can still get uh, florist products which is fantastic. And it's not really, it's not that expensive. This is about £35. The aftershave here is £55. The Eau de, de Toilette, I think this is a slightly more at 75 but this pretty much lasts you for a long, long time. You, you Obviously, you use it sparingly. They have moisturizing bath, shower gels, they have the full range. Facial moisturizer, shaving creams, face scrubs, and face wash. So, 89 is, is a really quintessential favorite of the Floris uh, brand. Now, it does come beautifully wrapped in this lovely little ribbon here, and I'm gonna keep it, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it as a bookmark. <laughs> What better way to to use it than as a bookmark in my Winston Churchill book? So nice little touch, little nod to Winston Churchill. In fact, talking of books, I think Oscar Wilde was also a big florist fan. So there we go. That's my choice. It's uh, you know it's maybe a little bit predictable, but for me there, there really is a childhood connection, a family connection to this to this brand. I just couldn't think of anything more refined, more British, more special and close to my heart than Floris and especially the number 89. So there we go guys, uh, that is my fragrance of choice. Okay guys, let's take it back to the studio. Okay, welcome back guys. Now of course I will leave all the details where you can buy these fragrances online. Thankfully they are on Amazon here in the United States uh, so you don't have to fly all the way to Floris in London to get your yearly supply or yearly top up. We can enjoy this uh, quality stuff all over the world, so I, which I think is just fantastic. Anyway guys, uh, please let me know what you think. Definitely share in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your fragrances are, what your favorite fragrances are. Please share down below. I'd love to hear about that. Uh, especially recommendations, anything you think I would appreciate. You know, I'm dying to hear that as well. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Okay, guys. Ciao.